Welcome to Freeway Moments. In this episode, we will be looking at PDFs and downloads. When you create a website, you may want to offer documentation in the form of a PDF or even files to download. Adding this sort of functionality to a Freeway site is very easy, and the best part is that Freeway will manage and upload the files to the server for you. In this moment, we will be using Freeway Express. However, Freeway Pro users will find the methods to add downloads and PDFs are exactly the same. To start with, I'm going to have this graphic open a PDF file when it's clicked on in the browser. So we select the graphic, we go to Item, Actions, Acrobat Icon. And now we want to open the Actions palette, so we go to Window and Actions, and we use the File drop-down to select the PDF file I want displayed. So I select that in the window which opens. Click the open button. Now if we want this displayed in the same browser window as the page is displayed in, we can choose in place in this drop down. But we can also have it open in a full window or in a brand new window if we want. I can have it to open in a brand new window. So I select that. I'd also like to have a text link to the PDF as well. So I've already got a text box drawn out. So if I click inside that, as if I'm about to type some text in, and I go to Insert, Action Item, Acrobat, I'll get an action appearing in the text flow. If I click out of that box and then select the action, I've got the same options as I had in the Acrobat icon action. So I can select the file again, and I'll have it open in place this time. And in the name, I'm going to type in read the PDF here. And that's the text which will appear in the browser when it's viewed. Let's preview this page in the browser. So if we go to File, Preview in Browser, and Safari. Once the page is built, you'll see we have a button and the text we specified in the Actions palette earlier. So let's click on the button and see what happens. As you can see, the Acrobat plugin has loaded and it's displaying our PDF in the browser window. And if we close the browser window, we'll be back to the page we had before. Now if I click on the text which says read the PDF here, the PDF will open in the same browser window as the page was displayed in. And again, we can go backwards and forward through pages like this. One of the questions we get asked quite a lot at SoftPress is how do we control what happens to a PDF when it's being downloaded? We just want the file to download, we don't want it displayed in the browser window. Well unfortunately the answer is you can't. The um, control is actually up to the user of the browser and that person determines how the files are handled when they've been downloaded. What you can do is zip the file up and offer it as a download instead of a PDF. The way downloads can be added to a site is very very similar to the way we added a PDF. If I wanted to make this button a download link, I select it, go to Item, Actions, Download Icon, and in the file drop down I can select the file I want to be downloaded. In this case I'm going to choose a zip file. So I'm going to click Open and that file is now tagged in the action. I also want a text link for the download. So again, like with a PDF, if I click inside this box, as if I'm going to type something, I'm going to insert action item, download file, the action will appear in the text flow. I select the action, I can then again choose the file in the file window, and in the name I'm going to add download this file here. Let's have a quick look at this in the browser. We go to File, Preview in Browser and Safari again. The page will be built and we'll see that we have our download link here and our graphic is a download as well. If I click on these when I'm previewing it using the standard freeway preview, I will just be taken to the file in Find. If I preview this for a web server, it will actually open the downloads window and the file will be downloaded. As with PDFs, 
you have no real say in what happens to the file once it's downloaded. Chances are it will be open by the browser if it's a file the browser can handle. If it's an MP3, for example, it will be sent to a player like iTunes or Windows Media Player. If you don't want that to happen, it's probably best to put the file into a zip file and then let users download the zip file rather than the original MP3. You could also have instructions on the page which usually include right clicking on the link and then choosing save file to disk. In this moment we've looked at how we can supply PDF files and other files as downloads. It's all handled via a series of actions and these actions can be applied either to graphics or as inline text items. And we've also found out Freeway will manage the files for you as well. So when you come to upload your site, all your downloads and PDFs will be sent to the server as well. So that's it for this moment. As always, there will be another one along fairly soon. So until then, goodbye.